Tunicates filter seawater through their bodies. They're known as sea squirts because when they're lifted out of the water, they contract and squirt the water out. To the left, you can see the tunic that covers the animal, which itself is seen on the right. Sometimes, in order to be able to identify the species, the animals need to be dissected. There are over 2,500 named species of tunicates. 140 of them are from the Caribbean. In 2011, six new species were described in the Bocas del Toro region. Tunicates are suspension feeders. They have two openings in their body cavity, an incurrent and an excurrent siphon. The excurrent siphon expels waste as well as water. The tunicate's primary food source is plankton. Here, you can see the tunicate taking in water through the incurrent siphon. Tunicates are the only animals that can reverse their blood circulation. Their heart is tubular and consists of two pacemakers which switch off pumping the blood in different directions. The tunic that covers their body is a living tissue with blood vessels. It is equivalent to the human connective tissue underneath the skin, but tunics have it outside the skin. Where is the tunic itself? So the tunic on these ones, the outer, the outer coat is the tunic. Mm -hmm. So if you cut away the tunic, then inside you have sort of a softer, more jelly-like organism with all the organs inside. Mm -hmm. So the tunic is protected and it's made of and then in these ones, basically most of this what you're seeing is tunic, and then these little tiny dots you see are the zoids, which are, they look like little miniature ones of those. Mm -hmm. Tunicates are the animal group most closely related to vertebrates. Their larva is called tadpole and has chordate features, like a tail with a stiff rod called a notochord, and a nerve cord like our spinal cord. Biologists can look at the chordate features in the tadpole in order to better understand the evolution and development of the vertebrate spinal column. Tunicates are very useful. Countries like Japan, Korea, Chile, and France cultivate and eat them. Tunicates are even known to help fight cancer. They do not have external skeletons, so tunicates use chemicals to protect themselves. Some of these chemicals are proven to act against cancer cells. Others can kill bacteria and fungus resistant to antibiotics. But they also cause trouble. Some species are invasive and cause problems for aquaculture. They grow on mussel and oyster shells, compete with them for space, and increase the weight of the culture. Billions of dollars are wasted just cleaning these shells. In 2011, the Bocas Research Station in Panama hosted a workshop with professors and students from all over the world to train in tunicate development and biology. 